There's a theory called eternal inflation, which is a theory that, and it's actually the most popular theory, I think, at the moment, for what happened, for why the Big Bang is the way that it is. But it's got some very special features, the Big Bang, which we could talk about. But inflation is the idea that space, space time, was around before the Big Bang, and it was expanding extremely fast. And it was doubling in size in the most popular of these theories every 10 to the minus 37 seconds, which is point naught, 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 with 37 noughts, one of a second. So it's an unimaginably fast expansion. And then the idea is that draws to a close, so it quite naturally sort of dies away and the expansion slows down. And all the energy that was taken, that was causing that expansion, sort of gets dumped into space and heats it up and makes particles. And that's what we call the Big Bang. And those theories, the slight extension to those say that, that that slowing down just happens in little patches. So most of the universe, the overwhelming majority of the universe, is still inflating at that insane sort of speed. And the just little patches stop and they're big bangs. So you get multiple universes, a multiverse. It's called the inflationary multiverse.